Well, that escalated quickly. I didn't see this coming, but I'm glad it did. When the WWE announced the Fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania, it pissed me off. I can't lie. I wasn't sure how many other people it pissed off, but I had to figure there were going to be some like me that were just bothered by the whole concept of, on the one hand, you're talking about advancing the cause for women and talking about equality for women, and then on the flip side, you are choosing to put them in a situation where they are honoring the name of a legacy of a woman who did so many things to undercut women for so many years, hold them back, that it was entirely counterculture to what you're talking about. Women's revolution, my ass, when you're sitting there talking about the fabulous moolah. So I was glad to see, frankly, the backlash that the company got and continued to get the next couple of days after Raw. Because they deserved every damn bit of it. Because they either knew and didn't think it mattered, which is concerning. They either knew and didn't care, which would be equally concerning. Or they didn't know and they didn't bother to know, although I find that to be highly unlikely. There are enough people that have spent enough time in the business. They knew Moolah's history, her alleged reputation that there's plenty of evidence of. They knew what she was about, and they didn't care. They went with it anyways. So they deserved every bit of backlash and every bit of bullshit for this hypocrisy, this crap that they did. They deserved it. But I thought it was just going to be one of these things where a lot of us could be outraged about it or pointing out the double standard, the hypocrisy, the bullshit about it. And then we move on to our very merry way and it happens anyways. But that's not what happened this time. The WWE dropped the fabulous Moolah's name off of that women's battle royal at WrestleMania. Holy hell. Now surely that only came in large part because a major sponsor for WWE Snickers protested it and said that it doesn't align with them and their vision and direction as a company. Once that happens, and WWE, being the publicly traded company, is going to have to reconsider things. And that's just the nature of the beast. People snowflake, we outrage, we rage on social media, and sometimes affect positive change. Sometimes don't affect any change at all. Sometimes the change isn't always positive. But this is a positive change. This name needed to be dropped. It should have never been proposed to begin with. Like, I was talking about you could do it for Mildred Burke and uh, Penny Banner. And I saw other people suggest names like Sherry Martell. And I'm like, cool, whatever. Anything other than the freaking fabulous moolah. And she was a bad person. She was a horrible person. Alleged my ass. When you have enough smoke, you have more than plenty enough fire. She wasn't a champion for that many re years for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I don't think it was just because she was so much a bigger star than anybody else that she was just a big time money draw. The simple truth of the matter is you're confusing her Attitude Era run with the freaking Mae Young of all those years. You know, Slave Girl Moolah and the like. Nah, she fucked over her girls, she fucked some of her girls, she pimped out her girls, and she financially screwed them every chance that they got. And then she screwed with their careers, she undercut them. She played politics with them. She ruined careers. She ruined lives. That's what Fabulous Moolah did. And may she rot in hell for that. And the WWE still thought, apparently, deep down, Vince and others knew. And they didn't care. And they thought the fans were too stupid to know. Like, how ridiculous it is that Triple H, because he's a punk ass, and Stephanie's bitch... That he'll say, well, China can't go into WWE Hall of Fame now because look at us, we're a public company and I've got daughters because I'm the Breakfast Club member and of course I can't make freaking sons. Ooh, they can look up China and see all the porn that she was in and that's not the image we want. People could also type into the internet search machine, Fabulous Moolah, and find all types of stuff that she did bad too. And is that how you want it to be represented? All the bad things China did were marginally, mostly self-inflicted things, and she did them as a consenting adult. That's the drugs, the porn, the relationship stuff, what have you. 
And furthermore, fuck Triple H because he fucked over China to start dinking with the boss's daughter. And fuck Stephanie McMahon again for even mentioning her name. And then sitting there trying to go out there on social media and pretending like this is a big deal and apologizing. Nah, shut the fuck up, bitch! You're supposed to be the lead authoritarian female figure in WWE. You should be on top of this shit. You should know this shit. And of course you're a hypocrite just like the rest of your damn family. My ass. Shame on her especially. It's one thing if Vince doesn't give a fuck because he doesn't give a fuck. Stephanie pretends to be clued in and socially conscious and is anything but. But now, since the WWE had to cave to sponsors' pressure and drop the fabulous Moolah's name off of that damn women's battle royal at WrestleMania, perhaps we can ask the sponsors to help us get rid of some other WWE-related things that offend us. Like naming a warrior award after a bigoted homophobe like the Ultimate Warrior. Just saying. Understand the award represents a lot of good, and we're not trying to ostracize Dana and her kids and all of that, and we're trying to make up for all the years of bad that we did when it came to WWE. But he was not a great guy. He had plenty of flaws. Perhaps not the best representation when we're talking about inspirational figures. Or a Memphis mid-card piece of crap who broke 10,000 guitars, drew zero goddamn dimes, and is a freaking pyramid schemer. Perhaps he doesn't belong in the WWE Hall of Fame. What Road Dogg's done to take SmackDown Live and make it retarded raw is offensive to me and any wrestling fan with any taste or standards whatsoever. Hashtag Fire Road Dogg is a real freaking thing. Can we bitch to Snickers? That we hate what Road Dogg's done to SmackDown and making it retarded raw and that offends us and maybe they can get him fired. Thank you if you do. Perhaps we can bitch to him about Roman Reigns and getting a fourth straight potential WrestleMania main event. And that's offensive to us. The lame ass indie guys getting big pushes in WWE. The black, lack of black WWE and world heavyweight champions in WWE's history. The lack of attractive women in WWE. The shitty writing. The storytelling that's lacking. The utter lack of interesting characters and character development and interesting compelling storylines and feuds. All these things could be potentially offensive to us as fans. So we know from now on instead of bitching on social media, just out into the ether of the internet, we should be going to the freaking sponsors and telling them, this offends us, we're going to stop using your product if you don't do something about it. But nonetheless, some of that is tongue-in-cheek, some of it is not. But the bigger point here is, whatever caused it, the greater good came out of it. Is that this shit got shut down and it got shut down in a hurry. And it needed to, because it should have never happened to begin with. And shame on the WWE. And don't sit there, any of you, and say the WWE listened to... No, you don't get credit, necessarily, for fixing a fuck-up. You get credit by not doing the fuck-up to begin with. And then Stephanie trying to play her political-ass sounding game. Shut up! How dare you invoke China's name? And then you sit there and you sign off on this? You're Vince's daughter. When something like this comes, if you had had enough brain matter and enough intelligence to search the freaking internet to see all the stories that you probably already knew about anyways. If you told Vince, no, this is not a good idea, or Triple H said, no, this is not a good idea, Vince would not have done it because it's just a name to a battle royal. He wouldn't have fucking cared that much. It's not like you're telling him to stop pushing Roman Reigns or stop doing things trying to make us care about John Cena versus Undertaker Mania. You're not talking about those things that he gets a hard on for. You're talking about the name of a women's battle royal like he gives a crap. But at least the greater good came out of it, and that name was dropped. They should have renamed it something else, but the name got dropped, and for that I am thankful. Thank you, Snickers. Thank you for all the people like me that raged on the internet, and so many of you out there that helped make this possible. Because we did. We got our voices out there, we raged enough, eventually the sponsor got word of it, and then that's when something ultimately changed. But it changed! And that's the key thing. And still, fuck WWE for ever doing it to begin with.